think we should change the way we introduce ourselves. The I am should instead be we are. So I'll start by saying, hello everyone, we are Martha. Why this change? Well, you know, we are much more than our eyes can get. In fact, we only are 10 percent human. The other 90 percent are trillions of microorganisms, trillions of microbes, trillions of all sorts of bacteria. They are our microbiome. For each human cell, we have 10 bacterial cells. Surprised? It's because I was when I first read this. So let me put it in another way. So a man with 70 kilos will carry each day two kilos of bacteria, and that is more than the human brain weighs. So should we be scared? I remember my mum saying, oh, if you catch a bacteria, you're going to be ill. Oh, is it really always like this? It's because we have millions of bacteria. I have millions of bacteria, and I feel fine. So in 2007, an international team of scientists of all area had started a huge project investigation, the Human Microbiome Investigation, in which they are trying to answer to apparently simple questions, such as, who are these beings, and what do they do? And I must say that the first conclusions are really astonishing. For instance, we live surrounded by bacteria, so it's supposed that you and me share the same bacteria. No, there are no two human beings sharing exactly the same bacteria, not even twin brothers. Another fact is that before we are born, we are 100% human. It's during a normal birth, when we pass through the birth canal, that we catch our first bacteria, and they never ever leave us. So are they taking advantage of me? Of course they are. I'll give them food and a place to live. What else could they want? Oh, but all of this comes with a price. The ones who live in my mouth, they digest some food that my body can do it by itself. And they also push away external bacteria that could come in by food. Well, the ones who live in my skin, they form a barrier that protects me against external bacteria. So why creams and cosmetics? Forget them. We won't need them. So, but what if something goes wrong? Well, then I do get ill. For instance, if it happens in my intestines, so I'll get a diarrhea, and I'll go straight to the doctor, and the doctor prescribes me a pill. And inside a little pill are millions of bacteria. So we live healthier because of our bacteria. So the next time you introduce yourself, don't forget to say with pride, hello, me and my bacteria are pleased to meet you. Thank you.